In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for FeOH2, iron 2 hydroxide. Iron, that's a metal, and then oxygen and hydrogen, those are nonmetals. They're actually grouped together in what's called a polyatomic ion. Since we have a metal and nonmetals, this is an ionic compound, and the metal, that's going to transfer electrons to the nonmetals. So we know that this 2 up here tells us we have a 2 plus for the Fe, and then OH, that's the hydroxide. We can look that up on a table of polyatomic ions. It has a 1 minus charge. We have two of them, so 2 times 1 minus. That's negative 2. That cancels the positive 2 out. This is a neutral compound. So we write Fe, and then we put OH on either side. We said that Fe had this 2 plus charge here, and each of the hydroxide ions are negative. Because we have a positive, and then these negatives here, they'll be attracted to it, and that forms the ionic bond. Let's replace the OH minus with a Lewis structure. Then we'll put brackets around the hydroxide ion. You'll sometimes also see brackets around the positive ion. That makes this the Lewis structure for FeOH2. Do understand that what we've drawn is a formula unit. Iron 2 hydroxide, that's normally a crystal, and it's made up of a repeating pattern of these formula units. But this is useful because it tells us where the electrons have been transferred to and the structure of that formula unit. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.